yeah, bam it again. I was like, knock it up another notch. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well today. It's freezing as always. I'm so pumped right now because it's the first team training session in what feels like forever. I have Crawley Town under 23s from 11 o'clock till I'd say about 1.15, 1.30. I think we'll have a two and a half hour session. That's my guess because it's a Monday. We might be playing a match. But some people are away for today's session, so it might go a bit shorter. Anyway, I'm heading off to the ground. I'll catch you guys there. Bang, rainy day and cold. Jermaine, here we go. Shooting drills after training. Oh, he's, he's gone safe. Do you want another one? Yeah. All right, we'll go another one. This is your last one. Oh! Damn! No emotion, no emotion. <laughs> oh, bottom corner. No emotion. <laughs> Back from my Crawley Town training, decent little session. Session went for about an hour and a half, two hours I want to say, pouring with rain. I think I'm just about ready to go to the gym. What are you doing here? What's up bro? What's up? <laughs> what are you... I'm here to make a video. Oh really? Yeah, I'm ready, let's do it. <laughs> Alright. I'm walking in, <laughs> that's awkward. That's all good. All right. You're seeing all the behind the scenes. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Now go? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. So what are we filming? You came over. Yeah, um, let's just hop right into it, I guess. Ready? <laughs> so I guess um, one thing, you know, that just, I've watched a lot of your videos. I've seen a lot. I'm just kind of, <laughs> I try to pop in every day. Watching one every day is, every is hard. Uh. Not every day. I usually <laughs> go about, I'd say, three out of every five. Hey, so 60%, that's respect. pretty good. And then so I pop in, try to see it, and I've seen workouts, I've seen everything, and I've seen like the quality of the player you are. It's great, great quality, great, you know, everything. Nice. I, I really think you have a, a future playing pro and a good nice. career. Respect. Yeah, Respect. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I want to do it though, because it's like I really like going to people who are going to play pro, but then obviously one part of your game that I just, you know, we mentioned yeah. and talked a little bit before is just like the weightlifting and getting a little bit stronger. Of course, and you guys destroy me! <laughs> now before I want, before I get into this topic, I want to say yeah, it's not necessary to create a muscular physique for soccer. I mean, you have people like Iniesta, you have Messi, who aren't yeah. big guys. They don't have six packs, really. The mu one that sticks out for me is Mares from Leicester. Yeah. I think he's 61 kilos. Yeah, that's tiny. And my height. Uh, how many kilos are you? 61. 60, 60 yeah, it's the same size. Yeah. So, like I said, you don't need, I mean, Mares is way better than <laughs> well, <laughs> where I am. Yeah. So, it's like, I don't want to say you need this, yeah. but I just think it's something that can really help and just adding to your game makes it a little Definitely. bit better. And again, like I like we talked about a little bit before, is you don't need to go from even you to add ten kilos of muscle. Yeah. I think five kilos just to start out yeah. would be good. I'd be happy for that. Yeah. So, I'm doing everything in kilos right now. <laughs> Not bad. Killing it. So what do I need to do to get those five kilos? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to improve on? I just say that like the two main things, like it, it, so much, you know, there's so many different outlets to talk about, but I think the two main things is number one, nutrition. And I've seen your okay. diets, you know, you gave me a little diet plan. I, I kind of watch them through the vlogs, what you're eating. Yeah. Everything's great. It looks great. So there's Sweet. nothing like, oh, take this out or don't put that in. Yeah. But um, I just think just overall adding a thousand calories because I think we calculated it out. It was like 2,500 calories. Yeah, 25, 2,400. Yeah. Yep. And so that's like a really good diet for maintaining your weight, which is probably what's happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not moving. Yeah. <laughs> so if we just add like even a thousand calories to that just with a shake or something, yeah. the same foods they're eating. My shake is a thousand. Yeah. So exactly. if I can get that every night. Yeah. Every, okay. every night before bed and not to replace the meal, but just to add it into I your meal. I said that in yesterday's video. Yeah. yeah. It can't like, it can't be lunch or it can't be a dinner. It needs yeah. to be like dessert basically. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then so doing that right there, that's going to get you to start getting the caloric surplus you need to start gaining okay. weight. And that is pretty much as simple as it is, is in terms of gaining mass. Now in right. terms of getting muscle instead of like just getting fat, <laughs> <laughs> is you just want to do the workouts. And again, seeing your workouts, they're great. Hey. Everything's good. I mean, like I said, a little form tweaks, but you know, yeah. people tear apart everything for everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But the main thing is just the compound lifts, which you already do. Yep. And then what are compound lifts? Explain. Compound lifts are the full body, you know, so squats, yep. deadlifts, power cleans, even bench press, overhead press, barbell rows, stuff that's going to work multiple muscles at a time versus okay. hopping on the machine yeah, yeah, and working yeah, yeah. on the single arm tricep extender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so just compound lifts. And then the main thing about that is progression. So going up, like I'd say, again, with the kilos, 
one kilo a week, two kilos a okay, week. Okay, so not much. Yeah, very, very yeah, slight. Yeah. But adding that progression is in terms, it's gonna keep on tearing the muscle to end in that caloric surplus yeah, and yeah. keep on building it bigger. Okay. And that's, that's literally as simple yeah. as it gets. So with the gym, at the moment, what I'm doing is splitting it into an upper body session, a back section, a section. <laughs> into a back session and then a leg session as well. Do you recommend that? Or yeah, what that's, would that's a really good split. Like okay. a, that's like push pull legs, yeah, which yeah. is really good. Same thing, I mean, you can split it up any way you want. Everyone's always asking like the best way. Yeah. Fully upper body, lower body, and then do that multiple times with the full like, you know, here's my chest and triceps day. <laughs> I think the push pull legs is one of the best. Okay. It's like three it's times a week. Simple, yeah. yeah. Boom, hit all three, you do the compound lifts. You can add some accessory movements, but that's great. Yeah. So you think three times a week, is satisfactory for me. Yeah, you want to go more than three. No, unless you like really no. want to, but three yeah. times a week, if you're doing that progression with the main compound list, yeah. it's plenty. Well, there you have it. So, seeing as you're in my house, we might as well go to the gym, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm down. All right, let's I'm keen. Go. Let's I'm, do it. I'm keen for the gym. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <that's> <laughs> Yo, what up? <laughs> what? Yeah, like smoke's gonna come down and die. <laughs> We're all dead. So squats. Basically, if you look at the difference between my squat and Sheldon's squat, when I squat all the way down, I'm going parallel, so my hips are coming parallel to my knees in terms of parallel with the floor, and that just activates more muscles in your quads, hamstrings, glutes, everything, so it's a little bit better. The only other thing, honestly, for the squat that maybe Sheldon could improve on is just his wrists are a little kind of cocked back and it's almost a little bit too arched like staring at the ceiling or staring straight forward just have like a more neutral spine more flat but nothing is jumping out at me like you need to fix this it's a decent squat just a little bit deeper pretty much in terms of the deadlift I know you guys have kind of said that he's just doing a Romanian deadlift which is true now that works with pretty much the same exact muscle groups the lower back and the hamstrings and the glutes um, a deadlift technically is we drop it on the ground, but again, his deadlift form looks very, very good. You can do it either way, dropping on the ground and then starting up again just works more on that explosion coming up. And then if you're just hanging it and tapping on the ground, it's just more about controlling it with your hamstrings. But both are great exercises. In terms of the bench press, Sheldon actually has a tremendous bench press form. The only thing I would say is just kind of like retract your scapulas or kind of like just make your shoulders back on the bench so there's a little bit of a gap underneath your lower back and that just like helps broaden up your chest and puts less strain on the shoulders. But again, nothing serious. It's not like he's going with 315 pounds with poor form. So good bench press form as well. His chin up form looks really good. I mean, he's just using the assisted form, which is good as long as you're progressing up and making that more and more difficult. And then once you get strong enough to really start doing a lot of reps without the assisted form, the only thing I would say is that maybe he just broadens up the chest and kind of retracts the scapula when he's coming up and focuses on squeezing the back and the lats instead of kind of like hunching over and doing it more straight up and down. But again, nothing dangerous, nothing serious. It's, it's good form. Same exact thing for the pull-ups in terms of the chin-ups as well. I mean, pull-ups, if you could just lean back a little bit, and retracting the scapula back and just focusing on squeezing the back instead of kind of hunching over and being too straight up and down. And then again, for the lat pull-down, it's the same thing. I mean, it's decent form. He's even leaning back here, which is a really good form, so I don't really have anything to say. But just focusing on leaning back, retracting the scapula, and the same stuff as always. It's pretty much all the same movements with the chin up pull up and the lat pull down. Now in terms of the dips, I thought he had really good dip form. I mean, there's the more you lean over, the more you're gonna target the chest, and the more straight up and down, you're gonna target the triceps more, so kind of like whatever you wanna do. Nothing really to say other than that. The overhead press is super simple exercise. The only thing I would wanna say when you're doing this is when you stand up, start with the bar right on your chest, and then as you push up, kind of tilt back a little bit, and as it gets it clears your head as it's above your head, poke your head almost through the window so everything's in line from your hands to your shoulders to your hips to your feet. Everything should be in a straight line when you come up. But obviously, you can't put the bar through your head, so as you drop it back down, you're gonna lean back again and just repeat the process. Now, with bent over rows, this is just pretty much the same aspect of neutral spine where you just want your head and your spine, everything to be in a straight line, kind of staring down. And then you're just gonna focus on bringing your elbows back and squeezing the scapula in the back of your back. It's a really simple exercise. As long as you're not hunching over or swinging too much, it's a very simple exercise that I think is a great one for your back. And then so you see here, Sheldon is doing the one-handed row with a cable. I mean, again, this is a very good exercise. It targets the same muscle group in the back. It's just maybe not as compound. And it's just a different thing. Like if you wanna try a different exercise, mix it up. 
nothing's gonna be almost bad. It's just kind of do what you wanna do and compound lifts definitely target the most muscle groups and I think are some of the best things for soccer players. But I also think isolation exercises have their place. I think eccentric exercises. I think uh, stability exercises. I think one-legged like exercises or just doing one part of the body is good. So mix it up and just do your thing. But just to sum up, I think Sheldon has decent form on everything. I just a few minor tweaks just to target the muscle groups a little bit, go a little bit deeper on the squat, stuff like that, but it looks good. So uh, he's got my thumbs up of approval. I think that was really helpful. Matt taking me through those gym exercises, pointing out the things I was doing wrong. So massive thank you to you. No problem. I'm going to be implementing that into my session. So expect some changes. Yeah, but as we talked about in the commentary, it's very minor tweaks. Yeah, yeah, so. it's it's pretty minor. It's just some little things here and there that I can do to improve, but I want to be the best. Yeah, I like it. That's, that's good mentality right there. That's what it is. We also just filmed a Q&A on Matt's channel. I don't know if the link will be in the description because it probably won't be out. I don't have, I'm not as dedicated to like doing every day. I'm a daily The Q&A will be up when the Q&A is up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned for that go and subscribe to Matt link will be in the description and we got some pretty good questions in there I think. Really good. What did we get in there? Uh, the, about the comment about the sacrifices. Oh, that one was good yeah. We spoke about the sacrifices because Matt's been on this journey of becoming a professional footballer when he was in Germany And I'm on it now in England and just the sacrifices we went through and I don't think a lot of people understand it No, uh, it's, it's it seems very like a like a fairy tale to go chase yeah, it people are like oh, it's so cool It's so easy, yeah. but Realistically, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. So we went into detail about that. So make sure you check it out. Stay tuned. It will come out soon. 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 Sometime. Hey. <laughs> Three, four days. <laughs> something like that. Adios. Man, something doesn't feel right. Basically, right in here is absolutely killing me. If I go straight, that really hurts. I gotta walk like this. Bro, this racks. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm supposed to have Crawley Town training tomorrow. Oh. I think the plan is to wake up as if I'm going to Crawley Town training, and then if it's not feeling right, then I'll text the coach. But man, I don't want to be injured. I've got too much going on, and it far out. This sucks. I'm hoping it's just an overnight thing, and with some rest, it'll be okay. But. We'll have to wait and see. I also wanted to go and film some stuff with Matt tomorrow. We're going to go to the park and kick a ball, which I think we will still do regardless. I just may be a little bit limited in what I can do. But man, this wrecks. I've done a little bit of roller on it, but I'm not sure whether like it's the best thing because it could be a tear. It could... I don't know. Anyway, I think that was an amazing clip from Matt. I'm so, so grateful for him to come out, work with me on my gym program, but also help you guys as well. And I don't think I was doing too bad. Like, you guys were exaggerating in the comments. Come on, take it easy on me. I think there's a few minor tweaks that I'm definitely going to make, but apart from that, I think I'm on track. I think the biggest thing is the calories. If I can get that extra thousand calories in every single day, I'll be in a good spot. But anyway, I'm gonna say it again. If you haven't subscribed to Matt, link will be in the description. He has a ton of videos like drills and tips and showing his life as a professional footballer. So I highly recommend you go and check them out. Yeah, man, I'm really hoping I'm not injured. If I'm injured, then that puts me in a really bad spot because right now I need to be finding a team and it's the perfect time because everyone's coming back from Christmas. They might be looking for players and it's it's like the middle of the season. Any longer, clubs might not be looking for players. And this is the time where I need to execute. So we'll see tomorrow, man. I don't know. I I'm a bit nervous. But usually my body comes back from these things quite quickly. So I don't think I'll be out for more than two days. Maybe three. Because it wasn't like I did something I went, oh no, I I'm dead. It's kind of progressively got worse over the day. So that's about it. I guess you guys will find out in tomorrow's video in the morning what I'm actually doing. But Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Join the journey. I'll see you tomorrow's video. Bye.